always a rainbow within reach on animal so good to see you. You're just in time. I was about to check the mail. I'm expecting a letter from Ms. Panda. Let's check the mail together. Are you coming? Look, there's a letter in our mailbox. It's addressed to Mr. Goose, the Treehouse, Animal Island. That means it's for me. Could it be from Ms. Panda? It is from Ms. Panda. I'll open it. There is a letter and some pictures inside. I'll read the letter out loud. Hello, everyone. I'm visiting my friend. Everywhere I go, I see shapes. I've sent you some photos. Ooh, let's look. What shape do you see in the first picture? Hmm. Do you see it? Rectangle. Well done. What shape do you see in the second picture? Oh, I think I see it. Rectangle. Fantastic. What shape do you see in the last picture? Hmm. What shape do you see? Rectangle. Yes. Can you find shapes on Animal Island? Love, Ms. Panda. That's a great idea. We'll make Rectangle our special shape of the day. Let's look for rectangles on Animal Island. Shapes. Circles. Triangles. Ovals, squares, rectangles, stars. Hey, I have an idea. Look. Do you see one? Let's look for another one. Let's look for one more. 
Do you see it? There it is! We did it! <laughs> Yay! See you! Let's look for shapes inside the treehouse. Let's look for rectangles like this. Do you see one? Yes! I see one! Do you see it? Right! Let's look for one more. Yeah! Let's look for more. I see one! Yes! Let's look for another one! Yay! Let's look for one more! Alright! I'm glad we got to play together! It's story time! Get around, everyone! What book are we reading? We're reading this one. It's called A Very Busy Day. This story is about a little girl who spends the day with her mama. Let's see what happens. Let's begin. A Very Busy Day. Written by Chisanga Mukuka. Illustrated by El Marto. Designed by Christian Mokuba. Today is a very busy day. Mama and I have lots of things to do and see. We walk to the station and find people waiting in a line. Old people and young people, loud people and quiet people, all going to town. Through the taxi window, I see cars driving by. Fast cars and slow cars, big cars and small cars. There are so many buildings in town. Tall ones and short ones, glass ones and brick ones, everywhere I look. Mama and I walk in and out of shops. Shops for clothes and shops for books, shops for bags and all sorts of things. Mama tries on some shoes. Red shoes and green shoes, high shoes and low shoes. Hello, bonjour, hola, jumbo. In a big store, we fill a cart with food. Boxes of cereals and sacks of fruit, bags of flour and bottles of juice. Mama shows me the toys and asks me to choose. There are soft toys and round toys, loud toys and fast toys. Today, we've bought lots of things. Bags of food and bags of clothes a pair of shoes, and even some treats. Back at home in our quiet house, I take out the special gift that Mama bought just for me. The End Thank you, Mr. Goose! Thank you for reading with me. Kids, it's time for a sing-along with Mr. Frog. Yay! Remember to say hello when you see him. Hello, kids! Hello, Mr. Frog! I'm going to teach you a song called Five Little Monkeys. Ooh, monkeys like me! That's right! Today, we'll all pretend to be monkeys, just like you. Yay! <laughs> I'll sing the first part, and then you sing along with me. How many monkeys did I say there were? 
five. Good listening. Here we go. Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped its head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, "No more monkeys jumping on the bed." <laughs> Now I want you to all sing along with me. I want to hear you sing too. Let's count how many monkeys there are. One, two, three, four. Four, four little, little monkeys jumping on the bed. bed. One fell off and bumped its head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, "No more monkeys jumping on the bed." Now, how many monkeys are there? One, two, three. Three little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped its head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, "No more monkeys jumping on the bed." Let's count how many are left. One, two, two, two little, little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped its head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, "No more monkeys jumping on." How many are left? One. One little monkey jumping on the bed. It fell off and bumped its head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, "No more monkeys jumping on the bed." That's the song. Well done. Yay! Thank you for singing with me. You too. Thank you, Mr. Frog. Goodbye. Here's something we already did. Let's do it again. Hey, everybody! Let's practice our letters by playing the alphabet game. Yay! I want to hear you too. Let's all play the alphabet game. When I show you a letter, say its name. Are you ready? Yeah! What's this letter? I. What's this letter? J. What's this letter? L. What's this letter? T. Now let's do it fast. I J L T J I T L I T J L I J L T. Work, everybody. That's how you play the alphabet game. When you see a letter, you say its name. Woo! The letter T. Watch it bounce. Let's pretend to be Wigglebugs too. A boing a boing a boing a boing. <laughs> boing a boing a boing. <gasps> Hello, little Wigglebug. And now it's time to say goodbye. Let's sing our goodbye song. Goodbye, goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Let's stop to say goodbye before we say hello again. We need to say goodbye. Goodbye, friend. 
Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> Time to rest. Take a deep breath in. Let it out. Good. Listen. Do you know the Muffin Man? The Muffin Man, the Muffin Man. Do you know the Muffin Man who lives on Drury Lane? Oh yes, I know the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man. Yes, I know the Muffin Man who lives on Drury Lane. Yes, I know the Muffin Man who lives on...